Hey everyone, I'm Steve, and today I wanted to do a haul video. Now, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I love comic books, and I used to do a lot of haul videos, but now I'm going to change it up. I'm only going to do important haul videos, like uh, when I have a huge score on something, or I get just a fantastic deal, which happened in the last couple months. I went to a couple of 50 cent bin sales, and that's really the best way to get deals on comic books, is to dive in those 50 cent bins and try to find something that's good, but also something that you can uh, sell and make some money at if you need to. So I'm gonna show you today just the hauls I had from a recent 50 cent bin sale. And also I'll give you some tips on how to know what to look for when you're diving through these old bins of comics. First, I'm not gonna make you wait around. Let's look at the Grail book I found. And it is a second printing newsprint rare copy of Robin number one. As you can see, this is an expensive book now. And the reason is because it's the second printing and it's the newsstand edition. The regular edition is only worth about a dollar. So this is a very nice find in a 50 cent bin. I'm guessing that whoever put it there thought it was just the less common dollar edition and uh, I'm thankful they did. Well, not everything is good when you dollar hunt, so I'm gonna go through a couple of duds I found. I thought these would've been good, but these first two issues of Fantastic Four were junk, and then these Marvel spotlights, they are okay, but not really worth anything. But let's get into some DC books. Now, this is a good book. This is Tales from the Unexpected, a Neil Adams cover, so you need to learn cover artists to look for. This is another thing I couldn't believe I found in a 50 cent bin, an old detective comics, Silver Age book. Now it's rough condition, maybe a two, but still worth 50 cents for sure. Here's some other ones, just some number one issues. I always try to look for number one issues and I love Lobo. Uh, that pretty much does it for DC. So you're either looking for good issues or stuff that's in uh, really good condition. This is a good issue, but it's in rougher condition. Here's some cool stuff. A couple Conans, Conan 100, mini key, not real key, but something good. Another Conan book. I like to grab Howard the Ducks, especially early ones, and I found a few early ones here, all in pretty good condition. A couple of them are newsstand variants, which I try to look for a lot. And then um, just a lot of cool cover art on Howard the Duck. There are some people that love collecting Howard the Duck. This one was a very creepy kind of cover, the Devil Duck. But I also like to look for Incredible Hulk issues, pre number 200 or a couple key issues. So this is a cool one. And I got another one around the same run time. And then this one is a more modern book, but it's still kind of a key issue. Hulk number 377, first printing, not one of the rarer prints, but still about an $8 book. Here's something I was really happy to find, a mint copy of Earthworm Jim number one. This is a rare uh, comic book based on the video game. I loved it. Uh, here's an Iron Man mini key, 200, new outfit there. Miss Marvel, uh, kind of getting uh, some hot stuff in the early Miss Marvel books. That's a good one to grab. I always try to find these uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark here. I like movie comics from the Bronze Age. Marvel made a few of them. I grabbed this ROM annual number one newsstand. Now this is a mini key too. This is a Thor book. It's a first appearance of someone. I can't remember who, but I definitely saw it somewhere and grabbed it and double checked it is. Now I'll tend to grab uh, Spider-Man issues when I'm out, if they're in good condition in newsstand, which a lot of these were. These are just simple Peter Parker Spider-Man issues. None of them are key, but when you buy them for 50 cents, I'll occasionally go to shows and list comic books for sale, and, and you can sell these for, you know, two, three dollars a piece, uh, maybe two dollars a piece, and, and that's a good profit if you just want to, you know, get some books and quickly flip them. These are good ideas. Now it's not a good idea to sell these on the internet because it's too big of a pain, but when you get them, I just like to take them out of those 50 cent bins, put them in the fresh bag and board, and I really like early Spider-Mans or mid Spider-Mans, even during the 90s. Here's another one that I see often in 50 cent bins is this number one X-Men, and I like to grab them when they're in extremely good condition. Here's a whole set I got, so $2 for a set, and that's a good deal. I got some 80s. Iceman run here, starting with number two. Unfortunately, they didn't have number one, so I'm still looking for that one. So that's gonna finish up my haul here, those Iceman books and then a Transformers book. So let's go through just some advice I have about when I go hunting through 50 cent bins. Now, if you're looking for something, you could be like how I am here, 
where I find a book maybe in the bin and then I want to know if it's something I want to buy and then I start looking it up on my phone and trying to find out whether it's a good issue or a value or not. But that takes up a lot of time and keeps you from looking in bins and then can distract you. So I don't really like to do that anymore. I tend to try to research stuff ahead of time before I go. So what I recently got was this Overstreet comic book guide. This is the most recent issue and the first time I've used this. I really got to say though, it can help you learn a lot about key issues, comics with some value, uh, what cover artists are good to look for, and there's all just tons of instant information at your fingertips. The book's set up really nicely. I can actually find things quicker in this book than I can online, and it's just a simple thing of turning through the index, finding a copy of a book, and then deciding what the grade is, and you'll get a pretty good value for what the book's selling for. Now, this book is not foolproof, so it's good to always check the internet, too, if there's something that could recently get hot and a more modern book that could be worth more. This book doesn't do good with telling those values. Well, thanks again for watching the haul video. Just a note on some things that will come up. I do have a couple of CGC uh, books that have come in, and you've seen that Batman before, but I'm going to send off another package to CGC soon, so I'll show the books that I've put together to send to them. And then when they come back in, I'll do a big haul video of that. But thanks again for watching Retro Tech. Have a wonderful day and keep on hunting.